Talking about cold calling three bets. We do three bet aces and get cold called by a real Rambo. And then back race by Trish. We're all in. Big pot. Can we win with aces? One time we have diamonds. We run into other aces in King 977. Over here, I will raise it up with ace, king, queen, four. We get called by multiple players. Already $2,000 in the middle, and we flop top pair and then a flush draw. And actually, I will just pot it at this point with this hand. There's a jam, maybe by two pair, hopefully by a draw, hopefully not by a set. There's a set and a flush draw, Jesus. We're looking for a diamond, running boats. This is a diamond. We take the cash out and ah, could have gone for the uh, running it out actually, but we take that a nice pot. Uh, we'll call over here. That's a pretty clean flop. So basically we will check all the flop and then take it from there and just call down basically no matter what, obviously. Great spot. It just turned a little bit uh, worse, but also my opponent is going to turn a lot of showdown value on this ace that he doesn't have to turn into a bluff. So we'll, might, we might see some check check. We see a third pot size bet makes a lot of sense, but we're not going to race. Like if I had ace deuce, maybe we would go ahead and race sometimes, um, but not like this. And we have an easy call. I mean, I guess this turn wasn't that great, but also we kind of lost the minimum based on the bet sizing. At 100, 200, we are all in with a four bet. 6k in for the double suited aces, 12k pot. Against ace, king, queen, jack. One spin. Pretty decent flop. Sweaty turn. Good river. This could be a big pot, but hey, if your rake, sorry, if your PBI is extremely fucked, like you might be in a different spot. Again, it really depends. It's individually different, and you have to do you have to do your dil the diligence to uh, understand your environment. You know, okay, we have top set. It's not too bad of a start, obviously, and we'll start off with this. Not really sure what to do in the turn. There are three straights possible. We don't block any of them. There are obviously also hearts possible. I don't really think that King Queen necessarily shoves the flop. The real issue that I have is that I don't have hearts and also that the pot is already so big. So this is a little bit of a shitty spot because I think he actually is going to have a straight pretty often, but regardless, I can't get away from my hand. If the pot would be a little bit smaller or had more stack, I think I would play this a little bit different and check. I hate the idea that I don't have a, a straight blocker, honestly. I could also check and try to induce, but again, given how deep we are, I don't think that's the way to go. We're just too shallow. We don't want to see a, see a snap jam here at all. Yeah. Got to get lucky sometimes, you know? Sometimes we got to get lucky. It's probably going to cash out, so we're going to run it one time. And then uh, the rest is history, guys. If I lose this pot, probably not going to keep playing the 1-2 game. What are we looking for? Like a a ten. I like I like the card ten in general. Like ten is a nice card. Ten would be a nice card for thirty. It's gonna cash out, I think. Let's see, ten ball, ace. <sighs> Imagine he goes for the cash out. We hit the quads. Imagine once. Imagine that would be so sick. Or just like the deny, like. Just run it once. We hit a nace on the river, you know. Talking about taking a shot. We have 8754. We call the squeeze. And we flop a little bit something. So the S pair is one. We have bottom pair. Double gutter and two backdoor flush draws. So we can't get away from this hand. And given that we are the shortest stack player, I feel like we want to shove. Thing though is like if I check and it goes jam, jam. I actually think that we have a fold. But let me just double. Let me just think this a little bit true. So I can jam or I can check. I actually don't think we can check. This is too good with like the pressure. 
Yeah. Double gutter is just too much. I mean, if you had if you have a different stack, things are different. But as it stands, we got a jam. Oh, we take it down right on the spot. Beautiful. Accept the pain, basically, and then push through it. That's what I mean, you know? Like, when you wake up the next day and you just punted away 10 stacks, like, where do you find the... Where do you find the clarity and the courage and the motivation to just go back and say, fuck it, man, I'm, 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 I'm still here, you know, like I still have a role. I still have my mental capacity. I still have a dream. I'm going to push through and do this now. Like, where do you take that from, essentially, you know, and that comes deep within. So you have to, you know, you have to cultivate that and, and envision yourself like doing these things and being that person becoming that person and then when you wake up in the morning and you have all those things in your mind that's what mindset is is you know like you wake up and you realize holy shit like i had all this fucking pain but it doesn't matter because i have an actual like vision i see myself you know moving through the stakes and like beating these players and this is what i really want and then and then you just do it anyway you know like even though you know that you're exposing yourself to potential losses and and fucking depressive states again, you know, like you're still doing it anyway because the dream is bigger than the pain. Like, and when you go through all this, then you start to sort of like feel less and less pain after a while. Because again, because the, the dream is bigger, the desire is bigger than the pain that you feel, essentially. That's the, that's the, the easiest way for me to explain it, essentially. Over on this table at 1 2, we raised pre to 700. Got two callers, top two pair in a straight against three rumble. We're not going to raise the flop. We'll just call and then try to do the impossible. Hmm. Yeah, that's like an insta pot and turn is not what we want to see. There are obviously some bluffs possible here. Let me think about this. Over here. I think I'm gonna fold actually against the insta pot on the turn with my specific hand also like blocking some of the flush draws. And uh, here I will call after raising against the thingy there. And on the other table we will fold actually against the pot size bet. Shit man, the river was a queen. It's pretty brutal. Um <laughs> but it's a good fold, I think. Uh, we get it in against aces. We run it twice. Sounds reasonable. And we win the first. Oh man, we chop. A lot of equity there, but obviously pre-flop we were also behind. So here we have 10 big blinds basically. Because there's a straddle of 200, we have bad kings. So basically we will jam, and especially now there are 600 in the middle. Let's see what happens though. Okay, they're all... Yeah, we got to just do this, basically. Over here, we will call a 3-bet. Um, I guess running into aces again. Okay. I have to get the money in. It's a little bit unfortunate with this spot. No clock in my hand. Here, Oscar jams versus my ISO thing. Yes, queen, queen, 7-7. Seven, seven. Strong hand, obviously. Run it twice. And... That's... Good first one. Over here we will call in the second in case you we're gonna win this one. Oh. Yeah. In case like you in case you guys are playing here against me, by the way, like I hope you guys are not too annoyed that I take my time, but I also want to show these spots on stream and can't do that if I just like insta click okay in the S and go everywhere. This is pretty bad so far. Yep, we're gonna lose this one. This could be a big pot. We see a 1k open. And a call, we only have 10k, quote unquote, only 50 big blinds basically. So the money goes in. We're also double suited. I'm gonna make it 4200 here in a moment. Check down our aces. We are good. And obviously, with the ace king king, we don't want to get back raised. We haven't been back raised. We're all in. Good flop. Could call it. The queens could go for the cash out or running it twice against Grass Viz. I mean, gonna go for the cash out this time. But it's a big pot. But should, I mean, should we? Shouldn't we? 
Who knows? King King Ford three. I think. I mean, it will just be a call, and then this thing here will be three bet. King King Ford three. A disappointing flop. We cannot stack off here, so we will have to fold against the pot set bet, which is probably coming. Check. I mean, we gladly take that free card. King. It's a five. Well, that's gonna either make us more money or lose us more, some more money. Because we cannot fold the five. Is there any type of strategy for these types of no limit tournaments? Yes, there's plenty in the PLO Mastermind. PLOMastermind.com, guys, you can learn more about no limit Omaha post flop. Also, PLO Trainer.io or that PLO Trainer.app. Uh, you can learn more about these ranges because we do have um, sims for. The exact structure that GG has with the pot size, where the pot size racing tournaments does not include the antis. So we go for one third. We get called. We go for free showdown. We might lose. No, we win. 8,000. Close to it. Talking about cold calling three bets. We do three bet aces and get cold called by a real Rambo. And then back race by Trish. We're all in. Big pot. Can we win with aces? One time we have diamonds. We run into other aces in king 977. Yes, straight. We need a king, otherwise we're fucked. Just the king. $41,000 in the middle. King 977, the dream. We have three, uh, two outs. Only the king, basically. Very nice. Very nice. We get fucked at the end. In the 100, 200, we limped aces this time. Race against the ISO. That's a good enough flop to jam. Mm-hmm. Cash out or run it once. Or what are we going to do, guys? Two times sounds good. We hold the first. Ah, come on, dude. Let me win one pot against against this guy. Well, we have double suited aces one more time. Okay, so that's going to be the last hand of the stream. 700 open. Are we going to see another cold call of a three bet by a real Rambo? Or are we going to win, finally, a nice pot with a double-suited aces, diamonds, and hearts? 2300 it is. Real Rambo with the fault. Hung. In the tank. Makes the call. We have top set. Um, Top set, top set, top set, top set. We have no straight block or no spade, no clubs. It's going to be a potting situation here. <laughs> Jesus. We will still shove because he has uh, King Jack 10 in the range as well with backdrop clubs and whatnot. So we will still shove. And uh, if we had more behind, we would not shove. We might check. But as it stands, we have to shove and hopefully get lucky because he's going to have a lot of spades. Like he calls to sort of whiff the board pair. Well, let's see if we can hit the river. See if we can hit a pairing card. Hasn't called yet. He might not have a flush. Oh, wow. He falls like a straight draw. A oh, river would have been pair up. So we do win a pot. Cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We are out for today slash tonight. Uh, if you guys are playing, GG. Good luck at the tables. And thanks for tuning in, guys.